The short-term rental rules and regulations in the Poconos is like the Wild West. So where do you start? What's up guys? My name is Sean Connors, the Pocono Short-Term Rental Guy. I'm a real estate investor, a realtor, and a broker in the Pocono Mountains. And on this channel, I like to share with you all of my knowledge about what it's like owning a short-term rental business in the Poconos. So if you want to chat further, get started by clicking the link below and schedule an appointment with me. The Pocono Mountains offers so much, which makes it a very attractive location for operating a short-term rental business. However, understanding and adhering to the various, and I mean various, rules and regulations is vital to you being successful. In this video, I'm going to explain the process that you can use to find and really comprehend the rules and regulations associated with operating an STR business in the Poconos. So let's get started. And at the beginning, I mentioned that it's like the Wild West, right? For as big as the Poconos is, there is not one basic guideline that all the townships communities follow. I have been told that there was this basic guideline that was presented to the townships and the HOA communities, but it just didn't take hold. So now we have every area doing something completely different. What I've come to realize is that you only have to look to two governing bodies to help find out what the rules and regulations are. That's the townships and the HOA communities. They are the only two that have a say. The counties really have no sway for the most part over the townships or the HOAs, so it doesn't really make sense to talk to them. What you should do is contact the townships directly and have a conversation with them about what their rules and regulations are for short-term rentals. For instance, I have two properties in Penn Forest Township and Carbon County. I don't even think or look to Carbon County for anything. I go directly to Penn Forest Township. Per our township, in order for us to legally register our short-term rentals, we have to first complete and submit our annual short-term rental license registration with all the required documentation. So there is like a whole list of documents that we need to provide with the application every single year. And it's only valid for one year from the date it was approved and the cost is $250. Next, we have to complete and submit the zoning permit application for short-term rentals. And good thing for us, this is a one-time thing for new properties and it costs $150. Then three, we just sit back and wait for approval. It isn't too much to get started, but it doesn't come with its challenges. And we've had a really good experience so far with the township. But the HOA is a whole different story. Our HOA community then has its own set of rules and regulations that we need to follow in order to get our license. So in order to start the process for the HOA, we need to have all the documentation from the township first. Submit the application for our HOA with all the necessary documentation and pay a $600 yearly fee. What's frustrating is that the yearly fee for $600 is the same on January 1st and the same on December 31st. They don't prorate at all, which is really lame in my opinion. So you can see between the townships and the HOA community itself, there are different standards and these standards are not the same all over the Poconos. Each one is different, so you have to contact the township and the HOA di directly. What's really frustrating is that everything is subject to change without the consent of owners. I have seen and I've heard personally some horror stories with different HOAs, so being diligent is a must. And in my opinion, the absolute best way to know what's going on and happening in each HOA is to join their local Facebook group or a larger group of short-term rental owners in the area. That has been my go-to way to find out what has been happening in each HOA. I have found out so much information from joining these local Facebook groups because the owners are in there and they're willing to share with you what's happening. Real estate in and of itself is a risky investment. Owning a short-term rental in the Poconos is also a risky investment. So if you're risk adverse, this is not a good strategy for you. But if you want to learn more about short-term rental owners in the Poconos and what you have to do, this is again, this is the third video in the series. I'm going to come out with two more, but rules and regulations, extremely important. If you have any questions, please comment below. And if you want to schedule a time with me, again, click the link below. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Have an awesome day. Thank you.